How are you all doing? Well, this is the first feature length episode I've done on YouTube. So you're going to see me working all this stone behind me. And also, you're going to hear about the tools that I use and the different types of stone. So I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. So this is a stone that I will be backing off to four and four and three quarters. So 100 mil to 120 on the bed and then I will be coursing to quarter of an inch increments. The stone is a punched face, and it's called punched face because of the indentations on the face that the masons, when it originally quarried, punched it flat to remove any um, imperfections and to give it a nice flat look. So I'm gonna set up my banker, which is my working barrel, and I'll be working off that. So what I'm doing to this um, reclaimed stone is I'm backing it off. The normal regulations are between 100 mil and 140 mil on the bed, but these have got wider blocks, so the blocks are 125, which only leaves between 100 and 120 mil on the cavity, not your normal 100 to 140. So these need backing off to 120 on the bed. So I'll back that. Off. you've got to be very very careful when taking it off to that particular bed size so the stone doesn't go under and then that leaves it with less room and it could it could then not have enough to um to put your mix on see how that bit sticking out there that has to come off because that's sticking to your block work Make sure there's no gobble on the top. So that's your face, that's your bed, that's your back. As you can see, it's a lovely punch face. The pitching tool that I use is a two and a half inch Riley and it's tungsten tipped. The striking end is approximately I don't know, 40 mil in diameter. And my hammer is a three and a half pounds punched walling hammer, specifically designed for stone dressing. Like this stone is a sandstone, as you can see. It is quite chewy because there's not a lot of natural beds in it, so it does take some getting off. Right, see how that's bellying out on the back? That's it's very tight. And once again, we're doing it to that bed size. It just makes it that bit more tricky. It requires that extra bit of work to get it flat on the back and also to prevent it from going under. As you can see, made quite a dint into that. So if you remember when we started this morning, this is, don't forget me wrong, this is the end of day one. So tomorrow I'm gonna set myself up. That's what I've backed off in front of you. As you can see there, your lovely face on him, then your bed, and then your back. So I will be firing into that lot tomorrow. I'll set my banker up around about this place. Well, welcome to day two. Good old British summer. Rain. I 
hope you all enjoyed that little time lapse. It was just to break things up a little bit, you know. And keep it because what you're seeing on this episode is stuff which I've never really done before and a lot of my following has come through shorts where people do it's more quick content this is more to give you an in-depth insight into my day-to-day -to, -day to life so I'm gonna do a, new, a few more pieces and see like I always get asked regular do you hit your hand and I don't to be honest if I do it's normally my finger there from it hanging over the edge of the chisel a little bit but I've not hit my hand in years but if I did it'd still hurt just as much as the first time I did it like I say for those who are from the UK they'll understand what I'm doing a bit more compared to a lot of my subscribers in the USA where reclaimed stone like this I believe is not used a lot of it's veneered and hard skates I've heard the word The mortar that is on the reclaimed stone, I believe, is a type of lime mortar and it is very hard to take off. And with stone being porous, with the weather conditions being quite wet today, it's actually soaked the moisture in even more. So it makes it even harder and harder to get off. It almost becomes like chewing gum. So it is very, very tricky to get off. Good morning and welcome to day three. Um, the weather. So that's where we got up to after two days. So this is day three. So to see that brick there, that's my target today, and I've put that marker there because I keep forgetting where they am. So day three, day four, day five. So let's get stuck in. It's one of my top tips when you're backing off reclaimed stone and it's quite tight. So that's your face, that's your back, and I'm going to back this off, but I'm going to go down the tooth it's called, you know it's across the bed, and it should break off nice and flat. gone under a little bit there but it's still okay because the bed size like we said in this video that we're doing is between four to five on the bed so sometimes it helps to go down the two lovely bit of punched face why is it called that because of the indentations on the face so this is where we've got up to and we're going to get into this lot today this is going to be my marker i'm planning to get to here but i'm going to stay a bit later so i might get a bit further to where my radio is so let's go day three no day four good morning and welcome to day five so yesterday was a long one it was seven o'clock when i got finished so i will show you where we've got up to so this is where we've got up to we've only got this left to work right so that is all the stone backed off and now we're going to begin the process of coursing so let me turn it around so all this here is what i've got to measure after i've backed it all off so let's get ready so let's go So high up here 
this right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through We are all completed. Job is finished. All the stone has been coursed. These are the beautiful finished product, as you can see. It's been a great project to do and document all the way through it for the first time ever. I've done one like this. So all these are in order of the size. So we've got eights, eight and a quarter, eight and a half, eight and threes, seven, quarter, half and three, sixes, quarters, halves and threes, fives, quarters, halves and threes, and then at the back over there, we've got the unders, and then that's another pallet where my arm and chisel is with of six and a halves, because that was full, and we've got another pallet of sevens here. So, well done. And thank you for watching. Keep your eyes peeled for more. If you've liked this video, please like, subscribe, share and comment. It'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you.